Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my wax empties and unempties for the week. I'm just gonna jump right in. I finished quite a few clam shells this week, so we can start with those. I will start with Scentsy. I finished a jeweled pomegranate. This was the scent of month, scent of the month. I don't even know how many years ago, maybe two. I have one more of these left. It is a, just a very fruity, strictly like fruit pomegranate scent. It is nice, but it's not something that I'm going to get again. Since the sugar cookie, I actually mixed this with Pharmacist Daughter Magnolia, which is key lime pie, vanilla, ice cream, and blonde moment. This didn't have like you know, really any bakery to it. I did not get any like vanilla ice cream or anything that would be like indicative of a pie. This was a nice key lime. It was a beautiful key lime. Not my favorite. You guys know I love the melted mousses, but I added the sugar cookie to this blend just to give it a little bit more bakery. This really did nothing. I don't remember smelling this at all. It's very light even on cold. So I don't know. I have one more sugar cookie, I believe, in my collection, but yeah, that one's just pretty light for me. I'm actually melting this right now as we speak. I have sweet plum pastry going throughout my whole house. I, this is going to sound crazy, just bear with me, but I'm a little bit, at least today, I'm a little bit over the sweet plum pastry. I think I've melted it for so long um, that I just don't love it as much anymore as I used to. I still really like it though, don't get me wrong. I also, just to be, <laughs> just to be frank, I'm hungover today and so I think that could have something to do with it. Like for whatever reason, like today this is kind of nauseating me. So I don't know if it's because of my current physical state or if it's just because I'm a little bit over the scent. Could be a mixture of both because I truly have used so many bars of this scent. Um, it's good. I mean, it's a great plum bakery scent. I guess I just don't find myself dying over it, you know, as much as I used to, if that makes sense. But your preferences change. And I mean, I've melted sweet plum pastry for four or five years, maybe longer than that. So maybe I'm just like slowly getting over the sweet plum pastry. And then lastly from Scentsy, I have um, Summer Holiday. This, I believe was my last one in my collection. I'm hoping they bring this one back. Um, I guess we'll find out in a few days. I think the spring and summer catalog, you can do like a sneak peek on February 1st if I remember right. Um, so hopefully they bring this one back. But this is really reminiscent to me of like Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom. I'm not saying that it's a dupe. I do think it is very similar though. And it's definitely in the same like wheelhouse. Like if you like Boom Boom, you would probably like this one and vice versa. It's just a really kind of body care-esque nutty scent. It's really good. Um, I melted this bar in the bedrooms and it just makes for a beautiful, fresh kind of, yeah, pistachio caramel scent. Really enjoy that one. We can go into Walmart wax next. Um, I finished four clams from Walmart. Better Homes and Gardens Sparkling Iced Tea. This one is really old, and so I kind of wanted to focus on a little bit of my Walmart wax this past week. This I thought I would love. I really do like tea scents, and on cold, I enjoyed this, but on warm, this nauseated me. Like, I had to take it out. I think I had it in for maybe four hours or so, but I had to take it out because it truly nauseated me. The sparkly note in this, it's a very fizzy effervescent and that kind of tea note goes away and it is really, really strong. Um, I felt like on cold, I definitely got more of the tea note and less of like the fizzy effervescent note, but for whatever reason on warm, this 
did not do it for me. So I would not get this again. I mean, this is an old bar clearly, but um, even if that came back out again, I would not pick that up. This one though, I definitely would. And I kind of was hoarding this to be honest. This is Better Homes and Gardens Citrus Autumn Brew. This really is like a, like a fall tea scent. But I mean, I think teas like this, like, or scents like this, you can use it throughout the whole year. But this truly smells like tea with like a hint of citrus, but a lot of like fall spices. This is a beautiful scent. I really enjoyed this one. Um, and I haven't seen them bring it back, but I would definitely get that one again. I would get a couple of those if I ever saw that again. Strawberry Crunch from Sensationals. This is currently available, I believe. I just got this in the last few months. I really like this. This is very um, strawberry pretzel salad type of scent or like a strawberry jello. Really strong, a really good strawberry. And you guys know I'm not a strawberry person, but I did enjoy that. And this is a new favorite of mine and I think they've already discontinued it. So that's the way that works. Better Homes and Gardens Sugar Cookie Buttercream it says Sugar Cookie Buttercream Vanilla Bean Orange Zest and Sugar Crystal. This is just the best vanilla cookie buttercream. Oh my gosh, it is so good and it is so, so strong. But I have looked a couple times at my local Walmart. I cannot find it. And then when I look on walmart.com, it says that it's like six or seven dollars <laughs> for a bar of it. So I'm like, okay, that tells me they discontinued it. Let me know what you think. Like, have you guys found this in your Walmarts? Because they have disappeared from mine. I have, oh, I don't know, maybe five of those left, four or five of them. So I do have a few all kind of just spread out. I do wish I could get more of it, but I guess that is what it is. I have one from the bathing garden. This is my snowman's pipe. I don't know what the scent notes on this are, but it is a very like smoky tobacco type scent. Not my favorite. From Super Tarts, I finished one of my oldest clams in Ravenclaw. This, I don't know what the scent notes are. This packaging was a Wax Wednesday packaging from like, I don't know, three years ago. This is definitely have lavender, definitely has lavender in it. I really like supercharged lavender, so I enjoyed this, but it's not anything that I feel like I need to get again. Um, the go to sleep from supercharged is my favorite. I did melt a couple of favorites from supercharged <laughs> while we're talking about supercharged clams. I actually have two of these, so one and two of fall leaves. This is their just like blender scent. Their fall leaves is so unique. I love it so much. It smells almost body care-esque in a way. I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like very spicy. Like you would think about like fall leaves. It's definitely not leaves Bath and Body Works type. It's really, really unique. This was like a medium performer. I love this. I have more of this. This is a scent that, you know, whenever I see on the website, I get more of it just because it is so good. And then another favorite of mine, I finished two clams as well of Yippie Kaye. So there's one, there's two. I have sugar cookies and pine needles. In the last like three or four months, this has become one of my absolute favorite scents. I cannot get enough of it. I melt it all the time. It is just so good. You really get like a great mix of the sugar cookie and the pine. Pine for me, can be hit and miss depending on the vendor and the oil, but I don't like that pine that smells like the um, like hardwood floor cleaner. Um, this one is so like bakery and creamy with like the sugar cookie. It's so good. It is so so good. I um I have a couple more bam bags of this, so I will be set for a while. But truly, this is a scent that I. I could melt every week, at least at the moment, and not be tired of it. And then I finished a scoop. This is from L3. This is Blue Sugar, Pink Sugar, Boardwalk, Mallow Clouds. This was great. I really only got the Blue Sugar, though. I could not pick out 
pink sugar and obviously boardwalk mellow clouds is just kind of a blender really beautiful blue sugar though i love l3's blue sugar oil this went for 24 hours great performer um yeah i probably won't get this blend again per se just because there's other blue sugar scents that i like just as much but this was really enjoyable and i definitely liked that and then the rest of my bags that I finished from Rose Girls. I finished Botanical Orchard and Nectar, a mini melter bag. This was a really nice scent. Um, it's like a good spring scent, but I'm a little bit over the winter scents. As you can see, I've kind of melted a variety of things here. Um, this is like apples, pears, and lily or something like that. I potentially would get it again, but it would have to be a while in the future. It's a scent that I enjoy, but it's not a scent that I absolutely love. And I've gone through two mini melter bags of that one. So that one is, I don't know, probably done for now. Um, and then I finished a couple from Scoopable Tart Wax. I finished an ice cream scoop and apple fritter donut holes. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so good. This truly smells like an apple fritter that you get from like a donut shop. It is unbelievable. Mm, I do have another one of these, so that is really exciting. But this is a great like fall one. Um, perfect like apple bakery. It smells very authentic to like an actual apple fritter like from a donut shop. Okay, and then I finished two of the ice cream scoops of carbs with ghoul friends. She had a sale recently where a bunch of them, um, she had marked these down like $2.99. I think they usually go for $3.50. This is amazing. I get why people rave about this scent. I don't know what ghoul friends is, but to me, this is like her carbs with cider lane. Um, maybe some dunk my donut is in there too. It has definitely got like a cinnamon sugar sweetness to it. So I'll have to look up like what uh, Ghoul Friends is. And then that like beautiful bakery with the carbs. Love it. That is amazing. We'll definitely get that again. I do have more of that. From Super Tarts, I finished a band bag of Morning Walk. Blended with Smells Like Fall. So this is Brisk Air Morning Dew. Fall leaves, warm amber, dirt, apple, pumpkin, and lemon. You guys know I love this scent. Morning Walk is, I think, my top super tart scent of all time. And then blended with like those fall notes, like the apple, pumpkin, and lemon. It's just a beautiful, outdoorsy, earthy, dirt scent. But you get those like fall notes with it as well. Love that one. I have one more band bag of it. But if she ever did that blend again, I would definitely pick that up. And then my last empties is a puppy pack from L3. This is Firecracker Pop Bath and Body Works type. I have multiples of these and I am so glad that I do. I've never tried this candle, but I love this so much on cold and on warm. It was beautiful as well. It truly smells like just the juiciest like syrup from like a popsicle. It is amazing. So definitely not the appropriate time of year to melt something like this, but it did kind of break up the monotony of like the heavy winter scents and just brought in some fruitiness. This was amazing. Like I said, I think I have three or four more puppy packs of it. Love this one. Um, and I would be curious to get the candle if they brought the candle back, um, you know, this spring, summer, because it seems like this would be like a great very beautiful like summer sugary syrupy staple but that's it for empties let's move on to unempties i didn't organize these by vendor or anything to be honest i might just have one of each i'm not even sure so i'm just gonna pull as i go here um from rose girls i have mini melter bag and tenacious toadette sugar plum punch cherry cola and cotton candy frosting. I'm just going to try to work through this over the next month or two. It's not my favorite. I don't like the cherry in it. And I really don't even get cola a ton. I mean, you definitely get like a fizziness, 
that would be reminiscent of like a soda or something, but this is very um, syrupy, cherry, kind of medicinal. Just not my favorite. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I melted a little bit of my loaf and Christmas at Santa's Pepperberry Wreath Sugar Cookies and Marshmallow Fireside. This is one of my favorite scents ever. Um, definitely one of my top scents from Sassy Girl Aroma. I love it. Um, I melted this. We had a snow day once last week where I worked from home. And so I melted it on that snow day. You guys, I could not smell this at all. So I don't know what was going on with my nose because normally this is a powerhouse for me. But yeah, for whatever reason, I struggled to smell this um, the other day. So I'm sure it's just something with the way the house was or my nose or something was going on. Like maybe I was cooking something that day. But um, yeah, I wasn't really able to pick that up very much. But normally it's really strong and I love that one. I worked a little bit more on my Scentsy Brick in Luna. I'm just going to keep working on this. I want to get this out of my collection. I mean, it's a beautiful scent. I really enjoy it. It kind of reminds me of Endless Weekend from Bath & Body Works, um, where it's like a fruity floral scent. But it's just one that, like, I don't need bricks. I don't. And I don't get the best performance from them. So I'm trying just to move them out. From Super Tarts. This one actually doesn't have a label. It came off. But um, this is Birds from Super Tarts. So it's one of her Harvest Ale blends. It is so good. Mm, I love this one so much. One of my favorites. It's the perfect fall scent too. So I melted just a couple pieces of this one day and really enjoyed that. This one I'm melting today. This is L3 Sweet Home Alabama. This is sweet tea, lemonade, peach nectar, and fresh picked strawberries. I really enjoyed this one on cold. I actually purchased a loaf of this in the L3 pre-order that happened a couple of weeks ago because I really like the peach nectar and the fresh picked strawberries this is a really great in this blend. The sweet tea on cold, on cold versus how it smells on warm is a little bit different. Mm. It is a little strange on warm, honestly. Like I said, today I am hungover. I'm, <laughs> we're just going to be straight up about that. It is making me a little bit nauseous today, just that sweet tea part of this. So I need to melt the rest of this on a day where I feel 100% and see what I think. Because on cold, I really like this one. And I do even like it on warm. It's a powerhouse. Like this is going so strongly in the bedrooms and the bathrooms. It's good. Just a sweet tea note is coming off a little weird to me today. Um, okay, I finished, not finished, I melted two from Teddy Bees and then we will be done. So I've got this loaf in Tiff's favorite lavender, lavender sweet marshmallows and vanilla coconut milk. I melted actually quite a bit of this. So I have been just using this in my bedroom and I am like crawling through this loaf. Now granted, I don't need to rush through it, but at the same time, I like it, but it's not anything I feel like I need to hoard. And so the other day I did this throughout my whole open concept. It was beautiful. And this threw for 24 hours. It was a powerhouse. And I feel like most of my Teddy Bees wax isn't a powerhouse. It's like a medium throw. Lavender in nature is a strong scent, but this was incredibly strong beautiful. I would do this again. And lavender is not a scent that I feel like, you know, really makes sense for the whole open concept, obviously. But this was just a really nice, fresh scent. Like I said, a powerhouse. It lasted 24 hours. I thoroughly enjoyed that. And then lastly, I melted a little bit of my tub in hot pie. So this is Palo Santo, sugar donuts, hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. So I wanted to melt this because it was obviously on the pre-order list. So we're <laughs> a lot of things that I have in my collection that I didn't get the chance to melt. I wish that the list was up even just a few days earlier. So 
like Pacific Northwest Woods. I have um, the North Escobar. I'm sure there's a couple of others. Um, Cozy Cookie Cake. I could have melted a little bit of those scents, but I just didn't have the time. But Hot Pie was one that I knew I wanted to melt and see what I thought because I wasn't 100% sure of what I thought about this one on cold. I'm not a pink chiffon fan really and you really can smell the pink chiffon in this. Chai as well I wouldn't say that's one of my favorite notes and so I was a little unsure. So I melted you guys if you can even see just a couple of little pieces. I melted it in my bathroom and I melted two pieces in my bedroom and I like shut the door. Granted, this was only poured mid-November, so this is just now two months old. Not old enough for me to like want to melt again, but I wanted just to get a hint of what it smelled like on warm so I could decide if I needed more of it. I got two loaves <laughs> in the pre-order. This is beautiful. It is so good warming. Now, granted, this was fairly light just because I mean like I said this is only two months old but this was so good and I could smell it enough that I really could get like a sense if I enjoyed it or not literally I kept going back to like the bedrooms and the bathroom and just opening the doors and sniffing and like closing them back up again because it smelled so good I just wanted to keep getting like whiffs of it to see what I think and I just kept going back because I loved it so much this is beautiful, warm. There's a reason that it is hyped so much. Um, it is, it's really, really good. So I am glad that I was able to warm this one. Like I said, I got two loaves of it. So between the rest of this tub and these two loaves, I'll probably be sick of it by the time that I um, uh, am ready to like move on from it. But Teddy Bees, I think, has a pretty good like shelf life. Plus, I let things cure for quite a while, so I can work on this tub while those loaves cure and kind of spread it out and everything. I don't know if I would do this, at least at the moment, I definitely would not do this in the open concept, but in like the bedrooms and bathrooms, all day, every day, I would melt that. That was amazing. But that's it. That's everything for my empties and unempties this week. I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.